Songs that lure men to their demise. Beautiful creatures that can put you into a trance with a simple look in their eye. Let's dive into the world of mermaids and their mysterious underwater secrets. You remember the scene from The Little Mermaid where she's following the boat close behind? This guy seems to definitely be going through that as well. Although not on a pirate ship, a very curious Little Mermaid has taken an interest in this person. Simply fishing on his kayak, this fisherman's GoPro managed to capture a striking visual footage of a head popping out out of the water. Mind you, this is the middle of nowhere, so this is quite terrifying to see what appears to be a human head popping out from within the mist, and quickly sinking back down when the man feels a presence watching him. Human senses are terrifying. I find it hard to believe this could be a seal or something similar, because the fact that they were able to duck down the moment the man turned around is telling. I don't think regular marine life would clock in it that fast. But again, I'm not a marine biologist. Patience is a virtue. This YouTuber by the name of The Truth Is Out There had been constantly coming back to this little cove to try and catch some mermaids. He had been hearing locals discuss how important this place was, and how mermaids love to come by and play around in the shallow waters. Well, he allegedly got us proof. Not too long after starting up the camera, two little heads of marine life pop up from the surface, bobbing their heads up and down. The cameraman obviously becomes very excited, trying to contain his joy by keeping his voice down and feeling that he might scare off the supposed mermaids. He becomes a little ambitious, however, because towards the end of the video, he talks about laying a trap for these mermaids and trying to lure them in with fish covered in honey. Would a food combo like that lure you in if you were a mermaid? I'm sure we've all seen this mermaid sighting go crazy all over TikTok. It was a long night for this fisherman who uploaded these videos to his account by the name of Sauce90. And apparently, this weird night first started with abnormal crab encounters. It was odd to him, but nothing else out of the ordinary, and tossed the crab back. His videos were pretty normal after that while he continued to record his journey, until he noticed that the same crab was thrown back onto his boat. He then begins to hear what he assumes was dolphins singing, and quite loudly at that. It almost sounds like a person screaming. He then captures some crazy footage of two sea creatures keeping up with the speed of his boat as they travel alongside it. This encounter goes as far as to follow him all the way back to the docks, which is highly unusual. Another striking video he uploads the next time he's at sea is in the morning, where just below the surface of the water, we see a greenish yellow tail. And dare I say, do I see a trail of hair just further up its body? What are your thoughts on this? Witnessing mermaids in the dark is terrifying, because your brain can't necessarily make sense as to what's going on. These poor coast guards became subjected to that, zooming fast in dark and choppy waters, only to see out of the corner of your eyes some strange creature jump out right beside you. The one driving doesn't seem to notice for obvious reasons, trying to look ahead and keep the boat steady. But thankfully, it was his buddy that noticed this creature jump out for a brief moment before diving back in and swimming beneath the boat. The one coast guard caught by surprise, quickly darted to the other side of the boat to try and catch a glimpse of it one more time. The first appearance it makes is incredibly eerie, with its eyes reflecting the light from the camera, giving it that scary, hollow look. Despite its size, it looks incredibly old, not a speck of hair appearing on the top of its head from what I can see, definitely reminding me that not all mermaids are the beautiful enchantress we see in movies. The Wolf River Mermaid These mythical creatures love to show up around fishermen, probably because they're the ones that already have their camera out. A couple of buddies were out along the calming waters in Wisconsin, fishing and having a blast, until a strange creature poked its head out very briefly before realizing that there were people around before diving back down. It happens extremely quickly though, but the supposed mermaid head just stays out just long enough for the cameraman to notice it. Quickly she dives back down, with her tail emerging just behind her, revealing a very spiky looking spine. The man jumps up immediately, fishing no longer on his mind now that there was a potential mermaid swimming around them. Many are backing up this video as well, with one comment stating, To those that don't live in this area, there are no dolphins or seals there. It is a freshwater river in the Midwest. Farther down than any human has gone before exists a world guarded by those that are half fish and half human. On rare occasions, they come to the surface, appearing before us and sometimes accidentally getting caught on tape. 
This video was labeled Mermaids of the Caribbean and was uploaded to YouTube only six years ago. This video is incredibly intriguing. An older man decides to spend the day on a dock but notices something strange out of the water. Quickly taking out his phone, he started to record what he believes are mermaids playing with each other. What's even scarier is that while the majority of mermaid videos are shot from far away, this is the first video we ever get to see of a mermaid up close and clear. This marine creature seems to continuously poke its fin out and we get this amazing visual of a very jagged and clearly worn out flapper. It's clearly been around for some time, showcasing its age and history that it's been through. I don't know what to make of this. I've never seen anything so detailed before in an alleged mermaid video. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think this could be a mermaid? I feel as though Nashville would have been the last place to encounter a mermaid, but apparently they have them over there as well. Uploaded to X back on August 14th, 2020, this woman uploaded a video titled, Somebody in Nashville Saw a Mermaid. And there it was. Out in the middle of an open water was some creature or person sticking its head up above the surface. From far away, it does just look like a regular person. You'd think nothing of it at first. It isn't until it dives beneath the water that we finally get to see its tail flap in the air. A lot of the comments under this video are mixed, with some saying it's real while others are calling it a complete hoax. I personally don't believe this is real, but who knows? I've been wrong plenty of times before. What are your thoughts on this Nashville mermaid sighting? A starking porcelain mermaid was seen swimming out in the middle of the ocean. With some, if not the majority, of deep sea creatures that are so far down, the lack of light in these twilight zones oftentimes keep these creatures colorless or translucent for camouflage purposes. I think that's what what we're witnessing here. Although I'm not entirely sure why a deep sea mermaid would be up so would be so far up along the surface like this. But my hope is that it's not because it's nearing the end of its lifespan. Based on how it's moving around so freely though, it doesn't seem to be going through any drastic changes, but looks like it's having a fun time. I'm not entirely sure who the original uploader of this video was or what was used to film this footage, but it's definitely weird seeing this sort of creature out in the middle of nowhere. What do you think? Japan's Bizarre Mermaid Fossil. This strange specimen has stumped scientists for years as to what this thing could possibly be other than a mermaid. Japanese versions of mermaids aren't as pretty and beautiful as our western versions, but they're more on the creepy and scary side with pointed teeth and sometimes having menacing horns above their head. The description is similar to this fossilized mermaid. Although it doesn't have any horns, it still has the terrifying needle-like teeth as its mouth is constantly forever dropped, frozen in a horrifying expression. The legend behind this mermaid is that back in the year 1222, this mermaid washed ashore along the beaches of Hakata Bay. Originally picked up by fishermen, it was labeled as a good omen by a local shaman, who then had it buried in the Ukumido temple, which was a sacred place for the ocean dragon god. Although people cannot be sure if it's an actual mermaid, they decided it was best to keep a legend as a legend. Baja California has been getting some very interesting mermaid sightings. Uploaded just over a year ago, a random account posted this very intriguing video of a supposed mermaid jumping out of the water. Their attention was first grabbed because they saw something similar closer to shore and quickly pulled out their camera. I had to personally watch it myself a few times to be sure that it wasn't a dolphin because although the jump is similar, there doesn't seem to be that noticeable dorsal fin. Its body is very sleek and lengthy and for a split second, Second, I could have sworn I saw a human shaped head before it disappeared into the depths below. It happened all so fast though and the creature is super far away, so I can't be 100% sure on what this thing actually is. If this wasn't a dolphin or a shark, what could it be? What are your thoughts on this? Let's go back through time. It all started with John Smith and a mermaid? So upon reading numerous peer-reviewed sources, one expert historian kept coming across a quote from John Smith, where after arriving in the West Indies back in 1614, the intrepid explorers find a woman swimming just offshore. Declaring the woman by no means unattractive, Smith began to feel the early pangs of love as his green-haired crush continued to splash about. But when she dove, he was horrified to realize that she was, in fact, a mermaid. There you have it, folks. Plain as day. John Smith. Mermaids, I even have the full quote. Swimming with all possible grace near the shore, the upper part of her body resembled that of a woman. She had large eyes, rather too round, a finely shaped nose, a little too short, well-formed ears, rather too long, and her green hair imparted to her an original character by no means unattractive, but from below the waist, the woman gave way to the fish. Well, that sounds like a pretty physical description that's detailed of a typical mermaid, so two plus two equals four? 
Essential work on planned reservoirs in Zimbabwe has been stopped, or was stopped for quite a period of time, because mermaids were hounding workers away, at least according to the country's water resources minister. So Samuel Sepepa Nkomo told a Zimbabwean parliamentary committee that terrified workers were refusing to return to the sites. This was near the towns of Gokwe and Mutare. He said, and I quote, all the officers I have sent have vowed not to go back there. Now, he said this in the state-approved newspaper. Now, opinion about the existence of mermaid kind of varies throughout Zimbabwe. Some folks are skeptical, but a lot of folks firmly believe that mermaids exist there. Dating back centuries, a lot of mermaid stories make their rounds. One tale claims that mermaids can carry humans underwater, but if there's public outcry, their relatives might never see them again. Now, another tale suggests victims can return as spirit mediums if their disappearance is not mourned. Now, the senior politician said that mermaids were also present in other reservoirs. And he said, we even hired white men thinking that our boys didn't want to work. The white men also returned saying they would not return to work there again because of the mermaids. Now, I get it. You want your home to be your home and you're going to want to scare off any intruders. It makes sense to me. Professional scuba diver Robert Froster was diving alone in Florida back in 1988 looking for mysterious undersea formations when he noticed a disturbance in the water. Now when he turned to look, he saw a very vague, very shadowy figure slashing towards him. All around him the water had begun to churn wildly and clouds of sediment were swirling. As the creature rushed towards him, it appeared to sort of undulate rather than glide. And when the fast moving form got within, I don't know, 20 yards of him, he noticed something odd. So it had appendages like arms. They seemed to be reaching out towards him. And at the end of each arm appeared to be sharply talent hands, which, <laughs> oh boy, weapons. He then saw the creature in full view. He saw the long flowing hair, the smooth skin and scaled waist and, and scaled tail from the waist down. He said, it appeared to be half woman, half fish. I've never seen such evil hate in the eyes of any human or animal before. Well, mm, we're gonna withhold comments on that one. Before the creature could reach him, this man bolted up towards the surface and was able to scamper over the side of his craft to safety. And he never saw the creature again. And like, after that description, do you really think you're gonna wanna meet somebody with that hatred, that evil hatred in their eyes towards you ever again? Come on, pal. A book published in 2013 charting a whole host of unexplained mysteries in Devon included a historic sighting of a mermaid. So this being was spotted swimming off of Exmouth and has been included in this crazy new book. So the book is written by one Daniel Codd and it's packed full of weird and wonderful stories from across the county which have been researched and compiled from archives. So they've been passed down, they've been around and a lot of these are first hand accounts and they're from normal people. They're not from anybody that's like, ooh, I'm gonna make my life dedicated to this stuff. Ooh. I know fairy tales. It's just folks that lived in the county and saw something and reported it. The tale of the mermaid dates back to August of 1812 when a sea creature was spotted. It's like a mile offshore. A man called Mr. Tupang was with a group on a sailing trip and they heard music. And then they saw a creature, human-like with a fish tail. I know you know the descriptor, but we gotta go over it, folks. This account said the group was drawn to a singular noise, impossible to describe fully, but comparable to a wild, tinkling, harpsichord melody. And then the party spotted something human-like, diving and twisting in the water. When the group unsuccessfully tried to attract the creature, they um, threw boiled fish into the water, which did draw the creature nearer. And then, they said it was no other than a mermaid. There was a very detailed description of the creature and it reads as follows. It had a long oval face, seal-like but more agreeable, and hair seemed to crown its upper and back head. Now there is no suggestion she was attractive, more like an animal whose upper arms were covered with a soft fawn or a pinkish down. It did possess two arms, which it had used to great agility. And this ended in four webbed figures and this terminated in four webbed fingers on each hand. So uh, no thumbs, folks. Its waist tapered gradually to form a tail, which bore the appearance of shiny scales, while its back bore something like feathers. Now in length, it was about five and a half feet and appeared to be according playfully near the vessel before, after three quick plunges, it swam away rapidly and was lost to sight. Well, with what we know about mermaids luring people to the end of their lives with the talent hands and so forth and so on, did you really want it to come any closer? You probably wouldn't have lived to tell the tale. So this next story is anonymous, but I've seen it backed up by enough experts to prove its validity. So our witness for this story nearly slid into the river while trying to cross on some protruding rocks. Now it was by no means a roaring river, but once again, I'm not a river crossing expert. So it was this witness's first time in Haywood Hall in St. Mary. And they're like, hey, we're gonna go exploring. Now it had rained earlier in the day, so everything was muddy and slippery and goodness help this person. 
It was while crossing a small bridge near a community bar that our witness met Ornell. Now, Ornell was not big on conversation, but he did offer to tell a secret about a river that ran through the community. Granted, he was like, hey, I would like a drink first. He's like, oh, my brain doesn't really wake up yet, you know? After a drink, I start to function. Then I could uh, tell you something about the river, but not a word until I get my drink. Now look, a man knows what he wants, get him what he wants, and our witness did. But before he did, he said, oh, I live around this place for quite a while. It's, uh, you know, kind of quiet, but the river does have a whole heap of mermaids. And then our witness was like, whoa, was that the secret? And Arnell was like, yeah, man, pretty casually. Now, our witness was like, well, you gave away the secret before you got the drink. And then Ornell kind of went blank. He was like, oh no, oh, he like was stuttering. Now, the witness was like, you know what, no worries. It's fine, I will still get you a drink. And Arnell was grateful. He did say thank you many, many times, and he felt relieved. So it's like, what did he need the drink for to tell the secret. So after a short walk, the two guys were at the bar. It was really just a shed with a fridge overlooking the river, but it had a nice atmosphere. And Ornell signaled to a girl sitting on a stool near the fridge and she handed him a bottle of something. And then our witness walked closer to the river. And that's when Ornell elaborated. So the river ran right across the road further down. And he said, it's a nice river, good for a bath. He said, you know, I jump in it a couple of times a day, just throw everything off, jump in. And uh, the witness was like, okay, I don't need a detailed description of your bathing ritual. So he asked more about the mermaids. And Ornell replied, yeah, man, enough about the mermaids. When I was younger, I used to see a whole heap of them. And he's like, oh, you think a little mermaid's gonna you know, be in the river with them? And he's like, oh no, that's too easy. Now, our witness was a little skeptical, but then the woman behind the counter spoke up. And she's like, no, it, it's true, you know. She was adjusting. She's like, my father was telling me about it from the moment I was young. They said there was one mermaid there and she's passed away now, but I used to see her all the time. And like the witness was rightfully puzzled, but it was like, no, no, true, true. They say it's the same mermaid who used to be in the flat bridge and they swam there because it was quieter. And she used to never believe it, but then she saw her and it was just so much that people couldn't make up the story. So uh, make of that what you will folks.